Oh, she brought in the morning. The beautiful woman sitting with us. Her name is Margo Bingham. Yay, Give it up for her right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our, friend, our friend of the show. You may know her from Boardwalk Empire. Uh, you may know her from just being an artist out here singing great music in New York City. And now you're on a new show. Yes. What's it called? The Family on ABC and also Barbershop. And Next cut. Barbershop. Oh, yeah, that's right. You are in Barbershop. I didn't see Barbershop right. yet. That's right. So am I. What are you doing in Barbershop? I didn't see it yet. I'm one of the... The barbers. Really? Mm -hmm. Do you have like a big part? Do you get in a fight? You have sex with somebody's boyfriend? Like, what are you doing in there? Uh, no, I am the good girl. And yes, I am a big part. And yes, I do get into a well, fight. Well, congratulations. Thank you. So everything but sex with someone. Yeah, everybody. But yeah, everything. But well, sex. because I recall in this new show, The Family, that you play more of a controversial part. Yeah, I have an affair with the father in the family. And I is it, But that you is can't tell I more than that. I guess that's controversial. Yes. Having an affair is controversial. That would be controversial, yes. Yes, it would yeah. be very controversial. Yeah. How um, are there sex scenes in the family? Uh, well, it's ABC, so, so you can't go we really hard. can't. We can't even like see like side boob. We just can see like, oh. top bra. That's but there's it? but then like and bareback right. and bareback. But there, yeah. I mean, but we really do push the limit. There's a couple sex scenes with we have uh, a lesbian couple on the show, and then we have another couple that that tries to make it work, and we we really do we we press it. For ABC. Wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah. For ABC. Wait, so you must be on at what, like nine, nine o'clock? It's on nine, yeah. Yeah, nine. Sundays. Because that's nine. when the kids are asleep. Yeah. Or supposed to be asleep. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a dark, I mean, but it's a dark show, anyways. So that's, you know, we're talking about child molestation and Ooh. child kidnapping. And Ooh. then we're talking about uh, political things. And, and really, everybody has like a secret. And it's very crazy. Yeah, like, I suck as crazy, a friend. I haven't watched the show. It's really a great show. I suck, right? Yeah. We're going to watch it. I yeah. haven't either. You haven't even seen the movie either. I, mean, I haven't seen the movie. And I, was, and I was in the movie Ro too. Rosenberg and everybody came through here and like did like, you know. Yeah, but listen. Ro Ro stuff and you still didn't Rosenberg see Rosenberg was in the movie. We still Lurky. didn't see it. Lurky by nature. Yeah, I was no, in the movie. father. Yeah, and then father you, by and nature. Then you, and then you told me that you were in the movie, Rosenberg. And he yeah. lied. Did you He's see not. me? I did. You did? You did? Don't lie. Don't <laughs> lie. So, you know, I can show you a picture if you want to see me. There's a screenshot. Have you seen the screenshot? No, I haven't seen the screenshot. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm, Margo, I mean, he came in here and he told us that he had his own trailer. I did. And he was with he Ice Cube. He and he was with Nicki Minaj. I didn't say that. And he's like, part. yeah, I saw Margot too. I was like, no, Word. listen, Margot, you don't always. <laughs> here's the thing that you guys don't understand about Hollywood just, is sometimes you have co stars and you guys are close in your own way, but you may not be doing scenes together. That right. doesn't mean we didn't work together on this film, though. Do you now, know what I'm saying? Now, Rosenberg, what? where did you film this, though? Here you go. Where did you film this? Look closely here. He went okay. to Atlanta. That's, you see... see the, you see that head oh, down are there? You the, are you the... See that head down there? Oh, you're that... Oh, that's what do you the think? back of your forehead. <laughs> okay. She hit you with... Oh, don't, don't confuse okay. it with the camera. Got it. That right. piece of camera. <laughs> right. I see but it. But that really is him, though. That's you. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tell. The camera is blocking about Search. half my head. Yeah. It's... um. You can definitely tell. Thank you. Yeah. I did that part in Atlanta. You know what's crazy is I was in Atlanta the whole time. They might have wanted to keep us apart. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm they, sure. they, they. I think they wanted to keep me apart from women. They totally. Just, they, they were like they. They. Yeah, it's they, and yeah. they were worried about me coming down there impregnating someone. Right. You never know. Oh, and, yeah, and then know, that, that would definitely screw up production. Controversial so, yeah, slows right. things down. I mean, they wouldn't let me get near Nikki. He actually like, had a line. Right. He had a line. Did you? What'd you say? Do you remember? Do you remember I got, the line? I, by the way, I, I meant to tell you guys I was going to bring the script in so I could perform the line. Were you like over here? Was I, I was like, it was something on the lines of like, what do you have to say about the blah, blah, blah? I'm going to bring it in and perform the scene for you guys. Okay, please. <laughs> and can I just probably... be here for that performance? Sure. That's, I... all I wanna... That's all I want. Sure. Yeah, you can okay. play one of the other reporters. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, we could do the scene right now. How many, I mean, how long do you have to bring something you know in to do this? Honestly, that sounds like one sentence. By the way, I'm gonna, while you, you guys talk, I'm going to find the script. It's okay. in my email, I think. <laughs> so wait a minute. It's more than one line? Because we don't need the script. He needs the script I don't for the remember one line. It. I don't remember. You don't remember well, they what were talking, you have to They say? were talking about the enclosure, and they were talking exactly. About, right. Thank you. Uh huh. Sure. All right. So let's go to Margaret Call right sheet, now. Call Matt. Let's go back. Let's go back. So tell us how was Find it working. Find the script and then come back to us. How was it working with Eve and Nikki? Eve is amazing. All these amazing women. Eve is unbelievable. I uh, the the cast was so close. And we're in this tight little barber shop, and there's, you know, there's four female barbers on one side and then five barbers on the other side. This is like a tiny little yeah. room, and it's hot. It was in Atlanta. It was in the days. middle of the long days. So it's like we really can't escape each other, and there's really no room for ego because you have so many icons in one little tiny place. Right. But it's like you can't. 
do anything in there. Like, nobody can be bigger than anybody in that room. Like, you just have to be one person, and that's it, because that's all that fits. So we really got along really well, and everybody had a really nice vibe, and everybody was laughing all the time, and it was great. He oh. found the script. Here okay, I know I did not find the script. Okay. But I'm going to show you something, Laura. Okay. Take okay. a look. This is the day's call sheet. Does this look familiar to you? Yes. That looks like a call sheet from the movie, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And who's the first name you see? Q. And, uh, Laura, no, I'm grilling Laura. You don't oh, have to say that. Ice Cube. Sorry. Ice Cube. Cedric. Who's that? Cedric the Entertainer. Common. Eve. And then, uh, uh, and then all the, let's, let's move down. JB Smooth. Damn. Long way. Sean Patrick Harris. I mean, Thomas. 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 There you go. And, and who's lost? Uh, Peter Rosenberg as the City Hall reporter. <laughs> I told you. It's real. It's still real to me. I had a I had a time, two o'clock. Yeah, two to four thirty. You see that? You know that what's crazy? Real. So <laughs> that was the day. You see China and all that on mm -hmm. there? That was the day that they were filming a scene with China and Lamorne. And most of my stuff had to do with Lamorne for that. And so you never would have even known that I was there. No. We're probably in the same hotel. That's crazy. That was the one day I didn't film. They because they, they wanted to keep you all apart. <laughs> I see it. And That's they, insane. And apparently they <laughs> didn't want me to have a line in the movie. I know. Well, they didn't want you to outshine They wanted her. your forehead in the movie. They, well, they needed my forehead yeah, in the movie. Yeah, they did. Um, so, Margo, you're uh, taping The Family Wear here in New York City? Yeah, we filmed. We were done with the first it's, season. First so season's done. Yeah. What's the feedback? It's been great. Everybody's been awesome. Our Twitter followers have continued to explode every week so that's great yeah, our numbers like, have been the same which it. is good it. um it's hard on tv right now people are like people are watching tv differently you have netflix you have hulu you have What's amazon it called? binge watching binge watching yes like people thing. don't like to watch week to week to week because you're like oh what's next i need to they know spend the yeah, whole they need to Reputation. know they need to know right now right away but well, we can binge watch your show now right you can it's yeah over. it's i mean well it's not over it the last episode we're three episodes left the last episode airs on may 15th and have you been asked back for second season is it we're, gonna continue we're waiting. Waiting, waiting right waiting now here. how hard was it post uh boardwalk empire because i mean your character in boardwalk empire was very important um, and, you know, since then, obviously now you have Barbershop, the family, but you as a black actress in Hollywood, you hear all these horror stories about how hard it is to get parts. Mm -hmm. Was it hard for you as well? I think it's hard anyways to get roles. I think no matter what, I, no matter what I think that it's, there's, there's very limited quality things that are happening. I think everybody's making a sequel to something, which is not a problem, but it's just, nobody's creating their own work anymore. And that's kind of become an anomaly that everybody just kind of rides on the coattails of like something that worked and then doing a second or third or fourth. Um, and without being a name, it's hard. You know, Boardwalk was good to me. It was great. It was a great stepping stone. HBO was amazing to have on my resume, but that that got me in the door. That didn't mm. get me jobs. So mm. though that was great for my career, I still had to really fight for it. And then you're fighting against names and then you come down to, I had so many movies that I was like the last on the short list. And then they had to pick a name because they just didn't have enough names to bring numbers to the box office. So it's hard. And when your name's not it's big tough, and you don't yeah. have, and now I'm sure they look what, social media and as you get yeah, to create a at, buzz. And, and now and social media is a part of your, you know, casting. Um, it's it's crazy. There's we had a we had a bunch of social media people in barbershop just because of the numbers. You know, like that's people do that. People now and it's cast great for the marketing plan. It's it's great because they're hoping that the numbers that follow them will also follow the project that they're in. Do you see yourself doing Broadway? Is that ever something you would do? Do you go I that did route? It. You did yeah. it already. I and I would go back. Um, I would probably go back for like a limited run show right now. Um, I like film and TV. I like where, where I'm at. I like kind of taking the time on my own for my music and still doing that on the side and not rushing with anything. Mm -hmm. But uh, Broadway, I'm just not sure if I can sustain that right now. Eight shows a week is hard. It it's is. hard on your body. It's a lot, right? Yeah. It's Have you seen Hamilton? I can't get in. It's very hard. We got in, luckily. We got in. I well, can't get in. This, I got to get in before this the Tonys right or else here, that's it. The person was inviting her for four months. She wouldn't even go. Okay, that's a lie. Wow. That's what why happened? it was what scheduling happened? differences. But you know what? I went, and it was amazing. So that's sad. Damn. Why are you just, bringing that? Why are you bringing that? Because there? you have stars, Margot. <laughs> Can't even see. An amazing play with a multicultural cast who's yes, singing, yes. dancing, and great acting. A quality Incredible. play that she would see and would probably make her feel great. Like, wow, this is happening on Broadway. I could see myself in something this amazing. That's right. Could affect her, inspire her, change her life. Yeah, exactly. but, yeah but, but it could. But I went to go see it and I loved it. Yeah, but were you even really focused on or just thinking about talking to Lauren Hill afterwards? What are you saying? 
Because that's what you came back talking about. She didn't come back talking no, about I told you was it was yes. incredible. But me and Shawnee Culture, because I took our Shawnee producer, was probably Shawnee kicking Culture, in her ear the whole night. Shawnee Culture, the first thing Shawnee says, like, Lord, he's like, you realize? He's like, he's like, uh, we're the only others here. And I was like, because there's nothing but white people there. And I was like, and then he turns around. And it's Lauren. Lauren was like 150, you know, rows back. And I was like, <gasps> We're not the only others here. And I was like, Lauren Hill is here. And we freaked out for a second. Damn, why'd we, you have to just kill Lauren C? I would have freaked we out. Watched, shit on Lauren we yeah, watched, that is kinda, we it's like, watched Oh, hey, Lauren. Lauren, we're up Lauren. here. No, 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 listen. Honestly, it was kind of Zion. amazed. Zion. And the front. It was kind of amazed and that we had better season Lauren. I was like, whoa, we're mage. <laughs> and then we did wait till the end. And we kind of just stood there and like stalked her. Tell we had her walk tell out. Tell and then we looked there. We just gave her a nod like, queen. I mean, nod, queen. Time out. Did you just scream Zion? <laughs> I took the Khaled Lion and changed it to Zion. Lauren's child, Zion. Zion. Amazing. I just had to take a moment and just <laughs> you. let everybody My see why you're on the program. My brain works in strange That's why you're on the That's why you're here. For, that, for things no one notices but you. Yo, that's what, that's what makes sense. so good. Margo, what's next, though? What happens next? Because your music also is still something you're passionate it's about. It's still something that's working, yeah. Yeah. And you're yeah. Out, are you still touring and doing that? Because you were doing, obviously, New York City. I just kind of do whatever city I'm in just because I like to perform, and that's, like, something that feeds me. So it's It feeds more, your soul. It feeds my soul. It feeds my queen, my inner Zion. If you so, will. If you will. <laughs> I will. Uh, so, I will. So actually, I will. So I kind of just, I sing wherever I am. And it's just for my friends. That's like, when I told you guys about it, like, I didn't really promote it. I think I posted one thing on Instagram about it. It was packed. Um, it's just kind of by word of mouth. So I don't really, wow, that's awesome. I'm not pushing anything. Cool. So you don't, care about, you don't care about the music thing becoming a big professional thing for you? No, not right now. Like you no. can just be a professional actor and then let that be and, and have it for you. Honestly, as long as I'm working, I'm happy. I'm blessed. That's it. Um, do you have? Did you have nude scenes on Boardwalk? I did. How was that? Uh, scary. How Definitely s- scary. Like, like, oh, I have a question. Well, like, how scary? What? Like, was it oh, just awkward? So, no, not so. I, I, well, that would be a lie if I said that it wasn't awkward at all. Because you know, obviously, mimicking or or faking sex in front of a group of people watching is so definitely weird. weird. Okay, I have and a quick question. Yeah. Do you have to wear like that weird crotch patch? Sheba. What is that? It's a Sheba patch. I just so, learned about this. So it's basically, it's like a little sticker uh-huh. that goes from the front of you to the back of you. And now when when they shoot, this is graphic, so you know, here we ear, go. earmuffs, here we go. But if they're shooting like the back of your back mm-hmm. and, they, and the Sheba has like a little shark tail, so it comes up like, it's just two stickers because it has to stick on your skin. Right. Um, so it, it comes up around you just like a pair of panties would okay. sticks on your butt but if they're seeing a back shot of you they have to cut the sheba because it's too much of a tail and you could see it on your butt wow. and they have to kind of like stick it so like it's to thong. cover all your orifices yeah yes. that's the point yeah and, just and so the, the bodily you know juices and things and this is like and, a union you know, deal don't, is this like don't. sag after well, deal? you do you do have to kind of you do have to go through a physical and everything to make sure that you're safe what do they do with the guy for the guy it's the sock patch a sock patch? Yeah, it's like so a, they tape a sock basically to your it's, skin. Well, it, so. It's not. It's not a <laughs> like, tape so much, but it's like an odd sock. but it's it's like a it's like a little like sock thong kind of thing. But how does it hold mm-hmm. on? It just wraps around the body. Oh, it wraps around the whole body. Yeah, on a yeah. And, and usually they'll they'll paint it with like makeup to make it look like it's your skin. Wow, interesting, yeah. right? They got they got to they got to have laws for these things. You shouldn't yeah. be mm-hmm. just on scene with your bodily fluids falling all over. Somebody. Right, right. You so have some rules and regulations out here. And right. so you and Michael K. Williams, you did the scenes with. Mm-hmm. Uh, you guys are pretty cool, right? Yeah, we're still really close. So, what, did you have a conversation before you ha- have this fake sex in front of people, uh, or is it just sort of like, here we go? I decided to talk more to the director because I wanted to see what it was my first sex scene, and I wanted to see what different angles we're going to be doing so that I was prepped so that I knew what was going to be first. He walked me through every single angle and he told me, he asked me what I was comfortable with showing. I told him what I was and what I wasn't. He was amazing. Jeremy Pedezwa, he's awesome. But uh, Michael and I kind of had a little moment before and, and it was basically just like a prep 
for both of us. It was like, you know, this is me and you, baby. Me and you. Like, it's just us. And he, was, he was nervous, too. And, I mean, it's just weird. You just kind of got to, like— You've been hey, friends. Hey, You've been working together. Yeah, and like, then all of a sudden, like, hey, want to get naked? I don't and- believe Mike was nervous. <laughs> yeah. I ain't buying it. You, okay. Why? He could be nervous. Even if you have all the game in the world, would you be, be nervous. No, would you he be had nervous? already done Ebro, the wire. Ebro, Absolutely, Ebro, would you but be I nervous? I wasn't in the wire playing a gay gangster, either. Right, but that was his first sex scene with a woman. On screen, and but then he have a sex scene with a man or kiss a man in the wild. I'm sure, yeah, but, but he had to get through that, and then this mm-hmm. is another. I That's mean, a like different. different. Thing. This is a, this is different. Just like I'm sure I will play a lesbian at some point in my career. <laughs> I will I'm probably put it into the universe. I'm signing up for that. I'll be at that blockbuster. Don't oh be gross, God. but <laughs> that will be a separate. That will be I a separate miss thing. That movie. That will be Shut a separate up. thing. <laughs> Immature. Yes, yes, immature. It'll be a separate thing. Why it, do it, I come gonna, back? It's gonna be nerve wracking. Why do come I come back, back for, for you guys? Yes, Lord. Not for Ebro. <laughs> no, exactly. Ebro, you're, you're disgusting. You're sick. Can't Listen, believe you're I miss barbershop. I miss the family. You're sexy in the family. No. No. It's, it's called the family. I keep missing that show, the no, no, family. I know. But what if it was called the Lesbian Chronicles? Oh man, he like, sign doing? me up. What time? I'm DVRing. No, that's but that I, I do always think that must be a weird, <laughs> especially a like the, especially like making sex faces, like fake sex faces in front of people. Well, that's yeah, that's I mean that's weird. You just kind of have to like you, you've done that before. You have to, but you you just can't. You can't think yeah. that it's like... All women have, you're saying. All women. Right. You can't yeah. think that it's a sex scene. I know that that sounds crazy, but you can't go into it I would thinking think, I would think that, that you have to overthink scene. it. Maybe take a little shot of tequila and go in. I definitely took a shot of tequila, for mm-hmm. sure. But you have to... You kind of just have to know that this is... there. I, I talked about this a couple days ago. I said that I would never do a sex scene unless it was justified. And I originally, when they asked me to do boardwalk, when they offered me the job, they said, do I feel comfortable with full frontal? And I said, No. And I thought that I lost the job. And I was like, and I remember calling my mom that day. And I was like, mom, I just lost the job. You know, I'm really upset over it. She's like, sweetie, you made a good decision. You stuck to your guns and I'm proud of you. Something else will come back come up or whatever so then two days later I got the call and then I ended up getting booked anyways so I took about six episodes into the season where I didn't take off any ounce or bit of my clothes and then we had to have the sex scene because of the way that the storyline was going it was justifiable right 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 it made sense so I wasn't just going into a project like jumping into bed with somebody just because like of the shock value of a sex scene that that the audience needed to see it like I I would never do that I want to shout out to the screenwriters and directors that worked that in and made it justifiable although think about it like this my boy Bobby Cannavale was on the show Bobby's first scene has his dick? No, second scene. Yeah, that was dick out. That was crazy though. Remember? And then there was and like, I'm like fire I and like. It. I was like choking. He's and, on Oh yeah, yeah, he's out, choking. Remember? And I'm sitting there and <sighs> yeah, that's hot. My, Bobby is my me and my wife's former next door neighbor. Uh, and I, I'm like, oh, yo, bro, you could have given me a heads up. My wife was gonna see your dick right out the gate. <laughs> <laughs> We're friends with you. What are you yeah. doing? Just dick. It was crazy. Yeah. It's so a, yeah, it's a lot of penis. A lot. Yeah, that was a lot. Whoa, it sounds like you really took that scene in. <laughs> She was like, there was a lot of dick. I respect A it. lot of dick. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Can we only have interviews? Can we only have interviews with our friends? I, I, I like them the best. It's so much I fun. I like them the best. I don't know if we're covering everything we need to cover, but I'm know. sure we left out some things. She's got a, she got a All right, so TV is there anything? Shows. I think this is the, the normal question. If you weren't our friend, what else are you working on that we need to pay attention to? I'm is working there anything on, in the works? Yeah, I'm working on a new movie that will be released. I can't talk about it yet, but it will be released to the public in like the next two weeks. Wow, It'll be really? Announced. Yeah. Ooh. So that's Can exciting. Some hints? No. Uh, I play another singer. Okay. And um, I play a junkie. I play a musician trying to make it in Hollywood. So that's about and, it. And it's going to be out in two weeks? No, it will be released to the public that it's Oh, that it's, it's that's happening. happening. It's a big uh, deal? It's in okay, production. Okay, okay. Is it yeah. a big deal? Yeah, it's going to be It's going to be really good. You have a big part? I do. There's only like five leads. So. Mage. Any, any, any mage leads? Uh, mage leads. Really? Yeah. Any hot men that ladies will be excited about and going to be like jealous of you? No. More sex any, scenes? Any, lesbian? No. Any lesbian sex scenes? No. Damn. No. Any nudity at all? Uh, I don't know. We're we're still discussing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But if the, if it's justified, <laughs> Ebro's like, could I talk to the <laughs> screenwriter? Like, Where could I get? <laughs> I, I, I believe this is justified. I could Sign argue. Me up. I could argue this so character weird. really needs this. So weird. <laughs> but one of one of our films actually just got accepted to the LA Film Festival too. It was an indie project that I did two years ago. So What's that called? Uh, it's called Destined. Lala was in it too. Dope. Oh, cool. We love yeah, Lala. she's great. Yeah, but it's cool because it. it 
it does like the parallel lives of what could have been and what what ended up happening because of a decision that one of the kids made and then kind of following their life that way and the other way and all of the people that are effect, affected because of it. So do you feel like, do you feel the, you know, you've been doing so much work to be an actor. You're, I mean, for a long time. Do you feel the build now? Like, do you feel like you're becoming more, like, what's that feeling like? Do you feel that yet? As the roles start to come in, the opportunities start to go up and the demand starts to go up? Yeah, I mean, I've kind of always wanted to be an actress and be recognized as an actress. And that was always, like, my, that was my main focus when I was doing music. I was like, man, I would love to be, I would love to be an actor. Like, that would be great. I would love for people to look at me and be an actor. And that was when my music was kind of taking off. And now people only look at me and they're like, oh, my God, you're in that show. Or, oh, my God, you're in that movie. And nobody even knows that I sing. So, like, on Barbershop, I was walking around and singing. And I remember, like, Cube's uh, bodyguard was like, damn, girl, you got it good voice you should think about singing i was like yeah <laughs> i've been thinking about it yeah i should, I should probably I, I should probably think about it a little bit so it's it's kind of it's kind of weird because it's like you know watch what you wish for kind of thing but i i guess i got what i wanted but it's just a weird it's a weird place to be in right now if people watching this were to want to get quickly introduced to you musically what would be the best way to do that you could just google me on margo b m-a-r-g-o-t is your music like on soundcloud my music's on soundcloud itunes um I don't know. All didn't the you things, tell us in things. an interview? Didn't you tell us in an interview that you, from Pittsburgh, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, were recording your first works the same time Wiz Khalifa was recording his first yeah. works, and you guys were kind of all the Pittsburgh music scene. Yeah, he was on my first album. That's so wild. interesting. Yeah, we were in wow. the same. It's this tiny little studio. I don't know what it looks like anymore. I haven't been back there in a long time, but they've all done very well for themselves. So I'm sure it's very different. But it's it was two studios, and Mac was there too. And it was the three of us, like, Mac was just kind of hopping between, Mac Miller, for everybody that doesn't know what I'm talking about, but um, he was kind of hopping between our studios, and Wiz would usually get the bigger studio because things were kind of starting to pop off with his stuff. I would get the front studio, and Mac would just always try to be in all of our sessions, and he was, like, a little annoying kid. That's Do you awesome. still have relationships? I mean, see them, I still them, see hey, Wiz hi. every once in a while, yeah, yeah. but I don't. I haven't seen Mac. I think in, Mac moved here to New York. Yeah. He lives in Brooklyn. Lives in I haven't here. seen Mac in years, but he's a really sweet kid. He's dope. Yeah, I mean, I grew up with all those guys. Like they're and your dad played for the Steelers. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Little known fact. Mm. Mm -hmm. Just know trivia. Yeah. You, trivia. Does your boyfriend, your new boyfriend, know that your dad is a former Steelers player? He does. Just know, little buddy. What does he think? Just know. <laughs> what does he think about that? You may, you may have heard of him. What's your dad's name again? <laughs> well, I have to finish the joke. What's your dad's name again? Craig Bingham. <laughs> My dad was in the NFL. You may have heard of him. His name's Craig Bingham. <laughs> well done. Thanks Sorry. for finishing that. No problem. No problem. Thank you. You guys give it up for Margot Bingham. <laughs> Yay, Margot um, And so when you become like super big, will we still be able to get interviews? No. As long as you see the shit that I'm in. No, that'd be nice. Every will once there in a while. Will be nice being sexy? Uh, I can't promise you that. You, you, bro. Ebro, you have to watch the other things and then get rewarded with the That's part of the sexy. relationship, right? That right. part of being friends is you support yeah. everything they do, not just the stuff. Right. Yeah. Thank you. I got it. I'm learning.